Come join Libby, Molly, and Tiffany, the ladies of Consignment Chats, where we talk about all things consignment. Well, good morning, Tiffany. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. All right. Well, welcome to Sea Shots, everybody. Uh oh. Your coffee there? Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Did you pack your mug? I need to go get it. (laughs) No worries. No worries. You can get it when we take a break before we give you episode 28, which is one we are just, we've been chomping at the bit to do. And it's, um, we're going to introduce you to somebody new, uh, Janine. And we're going to follow her journey as we help to coach her, open her reselling business. And uh, she's just getting started. She's, she's sold before. She's very into thrifting, but she's just starting her reselling um, convis- business with a focus on consignment. And um, her name is Janine. We're going to call this series Diva G's Do-Over. And we're going to talk a little bit about that in the episode and how we came up with that name. But we're going to check in with her probably once a month, see how it's going, see what her next action steps are, and see how we can help her as the ladies of consignment chats and you guys out there as a community can follow along. You can help her give her suggestions and um, it's going to be a really exciting journey. Yeah. I'm really excited about this is like to get with someone from starting from scratch. It's great. Yeah. And and we're missing Molly today, Um, We are, but she'll be back. Yeah. Back. And she has an integral uh, role in this Mm -hmm. integral, integral. In- integral. Integral. Yeah. Integral. I don't know why I say integral. Well, I guess I don't, it can, know. I don't know if it goes either way. Integral. I don't know, but now you got me I'm sure somebody will let me know in the comments. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> People are not shy about correcting. Okay. All right. Well, let's go over and let's talk to Janine and uh, see what she has to say and where um, let's get to know her and see her start her journey. All right. Well, hi, everybody. I want to introduce you um, to Janine. And Janine, wave. Hi. <laughs> it Good morning. Is, uh, <laughs> Tiffany and myself here with Janine today. Molly will be back shortly. And uh, she sent in her notes. So some of this will be coming from Molly. And uh, so let's get to know Janine. We talked a little bit about how we are going to follow her reselling journey. And uh, so let's get to know her and uh, see where we're starting. So um, Janine, just tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, you know where you are in the country and why reselling. Um, I am a single mom of three sons and they're all grown and flown. My youngest is 18, just graduated from high school, starting his uh, certification training and being a personal trainer. He is a gym rat. Um, he's in Virginia. I've got one in Nashville, one who's in Richmond, Virginia, and they're all doing their own thing. Um, so they don't need mom anymore. And, uh, I'm an empty nester and, um, love the resale idea because I have been a consignment junkie my whole entire life, whether it's clothing, furnishings, whatever. I like finding that unique one-off kind of a piece that, everybody else doesn't have. Um, I also love not paying full price for anything. I'm a shoestring girl and, you know, budget Easta, whatever you want to call it. I love getting a good deal. Um, Target end cap kind of a person. So to me, that also speaks to sustainability and recycling without having you accumulate my plastics in the kitchen. I can recycle clothing and it just, it feels good to me. And I want to help other people be able to feel good about their clothing purchases and maybe be able to afford, you know, brands or styles that they wouldn't ordinarily be able to um, get for themselves. So maybe kick up their fashion game a little bit. So I'm hoping to be able to do that. And I love the idea of doing it online because I can do it from almost anywhere as long as I can manage the inventory. So Mm -hmm. right now in Virginia, um, but now that I'm, you know, in my fifties, I want to be able to travel and, um, you know, kind of live wherever life is taking me and be able to have uh, a partner who can help me manage wherever I'm keeping my inventory. I'm thinking, between Virginia and uh, Arizona. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
I have got people in line who are working with me on that. So right now we're doing the Virginia inventory and getting that all um, segregated and get everything accounted for and getting it all um, organized so we can get everything uploaded and get yeah, it into listing. So what- um, I hear that, you know, you're definitely interested in being mobile, which, you know, online definitely gives you those capabilities. What mm-hmm. is your, do you have an, an overall goal, whether it's monetary, whether it's lifestyle, like what are you eventually looking to grow this to or, or do with this business? I think both lifestyle and monetary. I don't think mm-hmm. I'm going to, you know, buy a fancy sports car, but Um, I certainly would like to be able to, number one, pay for my own little luxuries, whether it's doing my natural blonde hair color, you know, every three months or whatever it is. But I'd also like to have a way to give back um, to the communities that I'm in. I I have a heart for women and children's issues. Mm -hmm. Um, CASA is something that's been very near and dear to my heart for a long time. Years ago, I was on the board for a local CASA court appointed special advocates Mm -hmm. um, that takes abused and neglected children uh, from their home and provides a voice for the children in the court system to speak for their best interests, whether it's to return home or to go to a foster family or to be adopted. And um, just something that deals with women's or children's issues Mm -hmm. or both. I'd love to be able to be um, successful enough where I'm giving a percentage of the proceeds that makes a difference in the life. The timing. Um, We just recorded our last episode, episode, it would be 27, right, Tiffany? Is all about giving back and ways to incorporate that into your business. So I think that definitely will be revisiting that or visiting that uh with you for our followers so they can kind of wonderful see how to easily incorporate giving back into their consignment that's great. business and tiffany's yeah, that's also hugely. starting a venture like that um within oh, her really? business yep, yeah with the veterans association mm-hmm. that's terrific yeah that's terrific yeah that's just great. anything like that i think is just really important um you know, I've been very fortunate in my lifetime. Uh, my parents both came from nothing and worked very, very hard. I worked most of my adult life until I had my second son, but then I volunteered my hiney off. Mm-hmm. And then I had two, to three different businesses that I started during that time as well. Although they were small, but I still worked. Right. Um, so I understand the value of hard work. I would like to do something where there are women who need a leg up or a hand up and just don't know how to get started. Mm -hmm. So I just think it's important. And of course, like most moms, you have a heart for kids. I have a heart for kids. So. Oh, this is going to be, this is going to be even more exciting to follow along and kind of help you um, get there. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> you, know we, you know what we missed we we didn't get your your store name and why why you aim oh, oh yeah we need to talk about we need to talk about why this whole series is going to be entitled diva g's do over that's right so it's the do over boutique it's the d-e-u-x over boutique and because this is my do over in life um having had, uh, you know, an ugly divorce after a long marriage. Uh, this is the, the last and best chapter of my life. And, um, I'm going to embrace it. And this is my chance to do something fun that I'm going to love. I mean, who doesn't love shopping for really great women's stuff. And then of course I'm hearing my guy friends going, what about men's? What about men's? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Let me get started on the women's stuff first. (laughs) But yeah, it's a do over. How many, you'll be surprised. We do a, I do a pretty large men's business. A lot of men. Yeah. A lot of men shop. Well, if I started with just uh, my boyfriend's closet, Uh that could be a whole store in itself. Mm -hmm. He's got more clothes than I ever had. So (laughs) Um, but yeah, I'm excited about that, but I want to get the women's stuff up and going first, um, and start with that as a launching pad and fine tune that 
and then bring in the men's. Yeah. And, and so see how did we get to Diva G? How do we get, so we have the do-over part. How do we get to Diva G? So I had some very dear friends um, who are still good friends of mine um, from our gay community who coined me um, Diva Queen G back in the day. I kind of adopted these this younger group of guys, they were in theater with my oldest son. And Mm -hmm. I was like the backstage theater mom when he was doing community theater. And I'd go in and help do like makeup or just kind of be behind the scenes helping out. This was kids, Uh uh, teenagers. And these guys were a little bit older, college age. And I kind of adopted everybody. And then we just naturally became friends. And then they'd come to my house for dinners and hang out and just became really close with, with me and my kids. Uh And um, one in particular became almost like uh, one of my own, but to the point where my youngest said, you know, mama, uncle Eric is kind of like your little baby sister. And he (laughs) and I kind of looked at each other and went, yep, he's right. (laughs) He's kind of like your little baby sister, but he's the one that called me diva queen G. And that's, he still calls me that to this day. Um, he has a podcast now that's very successful and, uh, he had me on his podcast and it was called Diva G comes out. <laughs> oh, no way. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. So it's just, it's you funny. Have a how previous it, history on podcasting is Diva G. Lord. Well, this it. was audio. It was all audio <laughs> and yeah. I didn't use any of my real name on it at all. So <laughs> yeah. people know now, people they know, know now. now. <laughs> exactly so that's awesome yeah that's how that's how I got the moniker so it just kind of stuck yeah oh I love yeah. it Diva G's do-over this is yeah. the beginning of a very cool journey very cool yeah, so let's fun. talk a little bit about um you know getting start. you've been getting started over the past would you say month and you've got your- a month a little yeah. slower than what I wanted had some hiccups with some personal things with family and um you know like I had shared losing some friends and it's just been a little bit of logistics Mm -hmm. really didn't want to get full into it until after, um, the first of July. Mm -hmm. So I'm still on track for that. Um, the biggest thing was getting my inventory sorted, Mm -hmm. uh, getting some of the things set up that I needed, getting the business account set up, um, getting the eBay account set up and that's, that's happened. Yeah, so I'm yeah. good there. Um, some that, hiccups. Like- I mean, like that's a major thing that you've already you've already accomplished. And I know we met up right when you were applying for the business license and getting right. your tax ID and all of that good stuff. Right. So and that then- that part's done. Um, what like I ordered my my thermal printer. Well, that's MIA. That never oh. came. You know, so canceling that and having to reorder it. I ordered some lighting that's here. I ordered my free boxes from the postal service. They never came. So I had to re yeah. So reordering those. So just some little hiccups along the way. I've got my poly mailers in, I've got my scale. Um, So there are some things that have been great. Some things are just, just hiccups and following back up and following back up again, but, but getting there. And I think that's a really good example of, you know, what it takes, because it doesn't matter who's doing it, what the situation is, you're always going to have those hiccups. So, you know, I just really love how you just followed up and you were like, yep, all right, let's just keep going because right, it's right. always going to happen. If it doesn't, you know, if it doesn't happen with the poly mailers, it's going to happen with the scale. If it doesn't happen with, you know, maybe it'll happen with your, the room you're using. Like there's always right things. Yeah. And, and for me, yeah. the, the biggest thing is the time consumption with taking the pictures and, and learning, like if today's the day that I'm going to do photographs, then I want to photograph everything. Mm-hmm. I want to photograph all the handbags today. I want to photograph all the shoes today. I want to photograph all the jewelry today. If that's the setup that I have, get it all done for all those items today, then go back and create the listings or do the wording or do the research and see what this is going for. Yeah. That's a really efficient way to to list is to group like items and, you know, right. And that's something you shared with me. 
the easiest way to do it is to do it like that. And there were a couple of hiccups, like one of the listings I had, had which I only have a couple, it, um, somebody had reached out and made an offer. Well, they weren't real people mm-hmm. or they were fake. Okay. Like they, the account had just gotten created mm-hmm. and the offer was made like three minutes afterwards. And I tried to reach out and say, Hey, I'm still here. Here's, you know, I saw your offer Yeah, and nothing came back. And so I have a person helping me with my inventory. I was lucky enough to find somebody who worked for a friend who introduced me to you, Libby, Mm -hmm. um, who has the eBay business extremely different um, than, than the kind I'm doing, but Mm -hmm. she worked for him part-time. And so she's the one helping me do my inventory and stuff. Yeah. So let's back up just one second, because Mm -hmm. I think our listeners want to know, like with the strategy. So with you, you decided we kind of, you know, talked a little bit and you already knew that you wanted your primary platform to be eBay because that's really like a good first step. Like after you get your business license and after you get all those things, like Mm -hmm. decide on what your primary platform is and and concentrate on that before you, you know, branch out. And you already knew you were eBay and you just, right. We, well, I think eBay, because um, the obvious reasons for me is because they have so much built in for the seller. Um, the tracking of the sales and the accounting piece of it and um, all the reporting that they do. Mm -hmm. uh, That is for someone like me who doesn't do well with accounting or doesn't do well with that kind of stuff. That's, that's gravy. That is such a great thing for somebody like me to have that ability already built in to the platform. Mm -hmm. Um, it just makes it that much easier and that much sweeter. And, and your reach is so, you know, the reach is so broad and they so huge you know, broadcast to, you know, Google, they import your listings to Google shopping and they pay for like, I mean, you pay fees to eBay, but in the background, they're doing an enormous amount of advertising. Right. Uh, tracking. And it doesn't mean I can't cross market on my Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Once that's set up for the business, Mm -hmm. I can, but it just gives, it just, to me, it was a no brainer to do eBay as a, as a one and done type thing. Doesn't mean that eventually when I'm more confident and when I feel like I can streamline things that I won't branch out, Mm -hmm. but for me, just doing it here is plenty. Yeah. I was really excited that you, you know, you knew that's what you wanted to do and you had made that, that choice. Cause that can be a pretty big choice. And, um, it mm-hmm. is a big choice that, you know, Tiffany and I and Molly have all made is to make eBay our primary because of right. exactly the reasons, um, you described. And I, would, yeah. I mean, I don't, I mean, everybody does their own thing and has their own type business, but that is one thing I definitely think like if you can master eBay and start with that, you could probably sell just about on any platform. If right. You, if you get right. that down. And um, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So we have a little video. I have little like slices of video that Molly's going to put together for us that shows like we walked through a couple listings when you were. Yes. Getting started yes. And, yep. um, just kind of walk through the process of like getting your eBay store open and uh, doing a couple listings. OK, so we're going we're gonna to put that up. And, um, and then you're working with Molly on, on branding. Logo. Yeah. Yep. On logo and branding. Yep. Um, but she had gone down with the flamingo yep. down to Miami. <laughs> yep. And uh, so she did her Miami trip and then I was gone on the end of her Miami trip. So mm-hmm. we had, you know, back to back been out of town. Yeah. So um, we'll, we will circle back, but I sent her some things that I thought appealed to mm-hmm. me, visually, we had a great conversation about things that, I mean, she was great. She interviewed me essentially and asked me, you know, my values and what words did I like? And we just, we talked like almost like we were sisters on, you know, from other yeah. misters. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'm was- so excited to see what you guys come up with. And I think in our consignment chats community, where Tiffany's the manager in the C-chats community, we're... Uh, 
probably going to post a couple of those logos. Oh, good. Feedback. And uh, yes, I would love that. Follow along and uh, see what Molly and Janine are coming up with. I, you know, there's going to be, be great. I think really you're going to have so many cheerleaders when this comes out that um, I can't wait. Hopefully it doesn't overwhelm I cannot wait. I'm super excited. But we have such a supportive community and such a knowledgeable community. I'm just mm-hmm. really excited to see um, feedback. Yeah. Me too. Me too. I'm really excited about it. I feel, okay, I'm sorry. I feel like this camera's in my face. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> you're fine. It's you're real fine. people. It's real. And then Tiffany <laughs> is going to jump in after you're done with your logos and branding and um, help you set up like a little inventory tracking spreadsheet. Yes. Simplified. Spreadsheet. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause I, I, I have an idea on what I, you know, how we've got it set up, but I'm, I don't know how I want it to be like in an Excel sheet or Mm -hmm. that's, that's the thing for me and how to transfer that to marrying it to eBay. Yeah. Yeah. I have one I use and I'm going to strip it out and um, give you the, the template. And then okay. and you and I can talk about it. We can, I can show you and I can share it with you and show you the columns and everything. And we can tweak it how you want it. Okay. Yeah. That'd be great. Okay. Yeah, I think that'd, that'd be terrific. Yeah. So right now, as we kind of wrap up, what would you say um, is your, is your biggest hurdle right now? Is it time? Getting everything listed. <laughs> getting everything listed. Okay. Yeah, so everything listed. Well, you'll never the have biggest everything hurdle. listed. Never. <laughs> yeah, you'll never have everything. <laughs> well, the biggest hurdle is because I started out with so much inventory already. Yeah, that I think I've a been lot of people can relate. Holding to on to mm-hmm. and storing, knowing that I was going to do something with it, but not necessarily what I was going to do with it. Mm-hmm. So because I want the descriptions to be fun and I want them to be cutesy, keeping up with that because in the last month and a half, I have had no time to do that. Mm -hmm. And when I thought I had time, that's when something from life came up and said, "Uh -uh, (laughs) uh-uh, sorry, I've got other plans for you. And so I just have not been able to to give it the time that I need to. So um, that's what I need to focus on. Okay. So that's going to be your hurdle. Like, do you have something in mind, like you want to get up one listing a a day, one listing a week, or do you have, Oh gosh, I would, my personal preference. Yeah. I'd like to get at least, and, and this may be aggressive. I'm not sure if I'm having someone help me do it, Mm -hmm. which I I'm going to have to, to get it up and going at the level that I want it to be. I'm at least six listings a day, six listings a day. Mm -hmm. That's a, maybe a little aggressive, but if I can get the person helping me, like I need them to help me and we're doing things together, I think that's minimal. Okay. So let's say like, let's say, let's take her out of the equation for just one second. Let's say it's just me. Let's just say it's just you. What would your listing goal be per day if we remove that? If I'm doing nothing else but this? No, just... No, just life is just going in general out. with all of life's mess and hurdles. Like for Mal, I'm going to use Molly as an example. Like her goal is to have at least one listing every day because okay. that keeps things moving. It keeps the algorithm like checking. And I think that's, that's reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> that's so reasonable. Well, because I, you'd I, be surprised. You, yeah. You know, ahead, you, know, you know, I have multiple jobs and plus I'm moving. So right. my minimum is one listing a day on eBay. And, gotcha. And it's like, if I do more, great. But eBay likes the consistency and that gets you you better, you know, visuals. Um, uh, what's the algorithm? What is that? It helps the algorithm. Yeah, it helps you. Um, it helps you. I yeah. think it boosts you in search, honestly, when there's activity on your account. No, okay. for sure, but. Right. <laughs> okay. We're pretty even, sure. Even <laughs> Those are the insider tracks. Yeah. information that I don't know. Okay. Yeah. And if there's a day that you can't get one listed, you can go in and do made, do edits to a listing. Okay. Or, and that still looks like you've done some activity. I mean, at least it's better to get a listing up, but you can still do edits to help. Yeah. Yeah. 
I, because, I'm, like, I'm, I think having that one per day and I, Molly's better at that than I am. I, gotcha. you know, I'm using her as an example, but I think like, and when it gets to the end of the day and you're like, Oh, I just need to put something up. At least you did something that day. Okay. If you're able to do that. I mean, some right. people might be one. No, I, okay. But that way you I, don't I, have to worry about whether you, you know, you don't have to wait for somebody to, to be there to do it with you. Or, right. Right. No, I agree. Cause I, like coming over here to Virginia beach, but my house and most of the inventory is in Newport news, which is 45 mm-hmm. minutes away. Okay. I filled a box with stuff okay. with jewelry and handbags and some shoes oh. and brought them with me so I could do listings here. Yeah. Yeah. I, while think I was at this right. house. So, well, the other yeah. thing that you can do, which I've done a lot is I'll have, you know, like you said, I'll have a big photo day. Like just this one day, I'll take like, you know, 30, 40 items, pictures. And then you have that to pull from to list. Yep. Everything, you know, for yep. a while. So. Yeah. And that's what I have a bank of pictures right now that I can upload things and do the descriptions while I'm sitting right. on the couch. Yes. Yeah. That's so good. yeah. Even if that momentum is slow, just keep it, just, just keep it going. Okay. I think that's really going to help you in the, in the long run. And then when you get your helper, you can, you know, set, set new goals and right. Yeah. Oh, we're so excited to be with you. I am too. Thank you for letting us, um, you know, talk to you and be a part of it and, uh, for letting our follows followers follow along and, uh, see your success. We're just really excited. Thank you for being here and allowing me this opportunity. It's, it's a slow start, but I am so so grateful for all three Slow of you. Slow starts are the best. Slow amazing. starts are the best. Yes. <laughs> and you know, and we'll meet up with you in a couple of weeks and talk again, and we'll just keep going, and it'll be great. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fingers crossed on the house, Tiffany. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It'll all, work, it'll all work out. It'll all. Work you did. Out. It will, Libby. You did great. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye, guys. Okay. Bye guys. All right. That was really cool. This is going to be such a fun journey with Janine and uh, Diva G's do over. I know. I'm really excited for her. It's neat yeah. to, start, to start from scratch like that. I love that. Yeah. And we're also going to be providing extra um, things and resources that we provide to her. We'll be talking a lot about that in our consignment chats community. And uh, Tiffany is the manager over there. So what's going on over in our consignment chats community or C chats community? Well, we've gotten some good chatter lately on our last couple episodes. Um, I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't print it out, but I will. So forgive my look over here, but no problem. Um, we will, we got a nice comment on YouTube about our salvage garden spotlight episode with Michelle oh. Hodgins, and it said confirmation that C-Chats ladies are inspiring and motivating others. Wow, Michelle's testimony just proved that. Having her in the C-Chats community is a bonus for all of your followers. So wonderful, Michelle. Love the virtual shopping trips. Great idea, such a personal, personal touch. Michelle is a super mompreneur. She sure is. Yeah. <laughs> and Libby, I love the C-Chats motto. I'm using that, ladies. Saying it out loud now. Woo! Reading the book. We'll be getting it done. That's another thing we had to talk about the book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and um, what a great book to get everyone into. Tiffany, congrats on your 100 subscribers on YouTube. Let's get to 1,000 for the Sea Chats Lady. Woo! <laughs> yeah. And I just looked, we're at 111 right now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 111. That has to be some kind of numerology, some kind of fun thing. Yeah. And so, um, well, I'll just do- take a pause here. The book she's talking about is Profit First, which is this book right here. And we're reading that in, um, we have an, another group. It's actually not in our C-Chats community group. There's another group called the C-Chats Book Club, which you're free to join and follow along. And we're not that far into it that it's not too late to join. And um, we'd love to have you. It's a great yeah. book for anybody in a business. And then one more comment on Facebook about our last episode that just came out, which was unscripted. And not to not gonna lie, I was a little scared about that one. <laughs> oh, we got a comment about that already. Yeah, we got a comment oh. from um, Catherine, and she said, "I loved it. Not only did I laugh and smile at getting to know more about each one of you, but I also learned something new." All so, right. That's great. I was a little scared about that episode, but I think it turned out good. <laughs> it's hard to put yourself out there that way. I yeah. think. Well, we didn't know the questions before Molly threw them out at us. So that makes me always makes me nervous. Yeah, Molly was very excited about the episode. 
She yeah. likes the unscripted because yeah. <laughs> she's in charge. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> All right. So well, I guess if you like what we're providing, please subscribe and hit the notifications bell. It really helps us out a lot. And that way you'll know if we go live or we release a new episode, you'll get a little YouTube alert. And you can also subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts. But the best way to help us out, if you would like to, to help us keep providing free content is to give us a review on Apple Podcasts because that really makes a huge difference. So if you could take the couple minutes to do that, we would really wholeheartedly appreciate it. Yeah, we like that. So until next week. Oh, oh, you don't, that's right. You don't have your mug. (laughs) Here, look, I even have lipstick on it for you. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. (laughs) Okay, cheers. Thanks for joining Libby, Molly, and Tiffany, the ladies of Consignment Chats, as we talked about all things consignment. To learn more and keep chatting, find Consignment Chats on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Facebook, and Instagram.